Ow! Hey, what was that? Wow, that's a lot of green. Excuse me. Great, they finally sent someone. You here to get the body out? Uh, maybe. I'm Max Lau, cell case specialist. No kidding. I'm the lab director, Dr. Zvidzai Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. What's your role here? I'm the supervisor for the telepresence factoring labs. Most of it's automatic. I just make sure it's all running like it should. Sounds like a big responsibility. <laughs> it's a lousy job most of the time. TP is where management sticks people they don't want in public-facing roles. You're not happy with it? For the last few years, my career has been one disaster after another. I'm just glad it's plateaued into some kind of stability. Can you tell me what happened? Baxter got killed. In any more detail? When we started this afternoon, a whole lot of samples had been tampered with. We tried to call Baxter to find out what the hell was going on in the specimen bank. And he didn't answer? He didn't. Turned out the door to the specimen bank was locked too. You haven't seen the body? No, not in person, if that's what you mean. We got the camera feed online, but it was obvious that Baxter wasn't going to be coming out. When did you last see him? Hmm, guess it could have been Wednesday? So he could have been killed any time in the past three days? Hmm. I guess, but it wouldn't fit with everything else. What's the purpose of this lab? Plant studies? Yes and no. It's a TP lab. Telepresence. There's a lot of research that's not exactly legal in some countries. But in Newton, pretty much anything goes. Exactly. If someone in the EU needs research done on something hazardous, infectious, or endangered, they send the orders here and we carry out the testing. What sort of research? Mostly we make new angiosperms from scratch. That's flowering plants to you. Gee, thanks. Why would people want new flowers? Sometimes it's a drug delivery method. The earliest commercial examples were fruit that grew packed with insulin. A lot of new wetware begins its life as gingineered fruit, too. Must be awkward if they cross-pollinate in the wild. And a legal headache. Part of our job is making sure the copy protection works. Copy protection in plants? Ouch. Aside from yourself, who else works in this laboratory? There's my intern, Martin Meester. Operates the factoring line. If you meet him, it's easy to see why they put him in here. And until recently, there was Dr. Baxter. You've got a keen mind. What's your take on this? Hey, I'm not the detective, young lady. You know what I think? I think Regis did what they ought to have done 20 years ago. Why do you say that? Seems logical. We've got him coming into the labs on security, then we got him coming out an hour later. When we get here, we've got Baxter's corpse contaminating the specimen bank. Anything else? Well, something strange. Since we got in, we keep finding samples that have been tampered with. Looks like he spent his hour here messing up the genomes of our specimens. That quickly? If anyone was good enough to do it that fast, it'd be Charlie. You knew Regis as well? Yeah, I was on a research team with him and his wife back in the 60s. Baxter, too. You've apparently known him a long time. Does this seem like something Regis would do? Oh, after what he did to Vicky, I'd have strangled Baxter, too. I tell you, if he did do it, I wouldn't blame him one bit. Do you think he did it, though? I don't know. He was always kinda shady. 
Tell me about it. They made him do some real awful stuff out in the hot zones. Such as? Let's just say his escape led to a whole lot of people being jailed for war crimes. You seem preoccupied. That obvious, huh? We found a couple of specimens that Regis tampered with in his hour here. So I gotta run through the catalog and dig out the backups. Sounds straightforward. Not when there's 11,000 samples to take. Oh, I could punch Regis for this. Though, I want to shake his hand for Baxter so it kinda evens out. What's been done to the samples? He's used a customized viral vector to add huge amounts of junk DNA to their genomes. These are the last two I found, Medioflorens interensis and Linacea lawsonis. May I have a look? Do you think it'll help? Just a hunch. Huh, non-binary, quaternary data string? What do you mean? My wetware systems are interpreting the genomes of these plants as sections of an audio file. He's used the DNA to store information. Hmm. You think so? It's incomplete. The two samples only make up a third of the data. But M and L, my initials. This can't be a coincidence. He's left a message. What does it say? Not sure yet. I could probably construct the whole message if I can find where he's hidden the rest of it. Safe to say it's in the other plants he's engineered. Here, take this. You can sample DNA from the plants around the lab. If you run out of sampling cartridges, you can reload it at this console. Thanks. How long would it take to sample everything in the lab? Oh, <laughs> only a couple of years. We have over 11,000 subjects. You're better off looking for specimens that would fill the gaps in the clue he left. Have you found anything else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, I have. There was a batch of Orchidacea isotria in the growth lab and... And? I can't remember exactly which specimen the other was. I do remember that it had yellow flowers, broad leaves, and produced long fruit. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. sample from it. There's some more. I'm going to need to find where he's hidden the rest of Hi there. Camouflage pan likes to take a walk in the park. My name's Dr. Max Lau. I'm a cell case specialist. Every Thursday, a tribe of domineering braggarts awkwardly smears the ugly fiction monger with horses. You're not making any sense. The clear star that is yesterday wants to set things right. Are you alright? The necessary but perhaps impossible notion of the nation-state works towards the rhetoric of synesthesia. I give up. Utter nonsense loves to love. Excuse me, Dr. Chigwa? Make it quick, I'm busy. I tried talking to your intern. It wasn't helpful. Oh, never mind that. He's got aphasia. Isn't that treatable? Oh, yes. He just gave it to himself. That's what the kids are into these days. Crippling neurological disorders? Yes and no. Maladism, they call it. They give themselves old diseases. It only lasts about a week each time. And you let him do that? Mm, he's not public-facing. And as long as it doesn't get in the way of his work. I figure we all did things the old folks thought were stupid back when we were kids. I need to ask Meester about the tampered specimens. How do I cure his aphasia? Well, you wouldn't really cure it. He doesn't actually have the disease. It's essentially wetware designed to occupy the Wernicke and Broca regions of the brain. This then produces the symptoms of the disease. That's what they're going for. I can't wait a week for the wetware to break down. Find a way to break it down early then. 
If we've got an emergency contamination, we use hydroxypyruvate isomerase. It's an enzyme that instructs the fabricators and wetware to disassemble themselves. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. Warning, security clearance done. Come on. New security profile created. Access granted. Welcome, Dr. Love. Thanks. This could be useful. Looks like a lot of cartridges for the injector. Questions you injector? Say that again? Overpass, did you stick me with an injector? Now I'll have to get my aphasia rejab. Not cool, man. Excuse me. Yeah? I'd like to hear from you what happened. So, we came in this afternoon for the late shift, right? I checked on the factoring line, and it turns out the specimens are yoked up. In what sense? They don't match the catalog anymore. Not that they're supposed to be. I figured Baxter knew it up again, so I checked the feet. That's when you found the body? Yeah, but the cheek wall won't let me get a look. Told me to get back to work when she called Sam. Hey, can I get a look at the body with you? I'm afraid not. Official procedure and stuff. Bomber. Dr. Chigwa tells me that some of the specimens have been tampered. Oh yeah, I found one of those. Man, couldn't they have just killed the guy without messing up my work? I need to find it. Which specimen was it? Oh, uh, a Corse Brasilia. When I found it, I just thought Baxter was nuking it up again. What did you do with it? I just sent it back to the specimen lab. Should be there in the sample store. All right, I'll let you get back to your job. Uh huh. Whatever. Oh God, what a mess. Nothing unusual found on the body central. Estimation on time of death? The climate control in the specimen lab is compromising your sensors. Ambient temperature is just above freezing. Update central. What is the situation, Dr. Lau? Dr. Baxter is certainly dead. He's been decapitated, and not cleanly either. His head has been removed. More like destroyed. At a glance, this would be the most likely cause of death. What is your estimation of the incident, Dr. Lau? There's too much we can't say for sure. We don't know precisely when Baxter was murdered. We can't even be sure that this was the cause of death. That is a fair assessment. A clearer picture will no doubt follow the autopsy. Don't send in anyone yet. I still need to carry out a preliminary. I understand. Continue your investigation of events surrounding the incident. Understood. Lau out. I hope I can find something to get Regis off the hook. Hazard trefoil on these isn't encouraging. What is this stuff? Better trance up some data on it.
planted the growth matrix. Let's hope I got Mom's green fingers. I've taken a DNA... Isotria samples from the growth lab. We are copyrighted property of Typho Labs GmbH. Beginning purge. Hey, my sample! What did you do? To prevent theft of intellectual property, gene sequences in your possession have been neutralized. Have a nice day. Gee, thanks. Excuse me. Yeah? I need to remove the Orchidacea Isotria sample from the growth room. Thing is, the airlock told me it was copyrighted, then blasted me with gas. Yeah, that one belongs to Tifu. They're way touchy about it. Only lab staff are able to remove it for fact. Could you get the sample for me? Heh, <laughs> no way, man. I'm already on two strikes for taking stuff out of the lab. So you could, but you won't. Sorry, man. Jake already thinks I'm stealing stuff. There's a huge street market for things like spark fruit or cracked wetware. Hey, the pipes in the growth lab are leaking. Ah, you can... Again? Better go fix it before Chiwa starts yelling. DNA sample from it. I've taken a DNA sample from it. I hope it doesn't grow in my pocket. taken a DNA sample from it. Aha! Got some! Yes! It worked! Lau, if you're listening to this, well, it means they've got me. Oh no, Regis, no, no, no! But, but I... Lau, ignore anything left in the recording up to this point. Huh? 
Sorry for being so unhelpful with the message, but I had to be sure you were the one who heard it first. Everyone will be saying that I came to the lab to, well, for Baxter, and they might be right. Except that he's been dead since before I got here. Yes. We need to touch bases on this case. Meet me. Hmm. Meet me where we were both first involved in a case. I'll try to explain when you get here. Good luck. Oh, thank God. You've got some explaining to do, Regis. What the hell did you think you were doing? We need her alive! I saw an opportunity for striking back at Regis, a kind of poetic justice. At Regis? You've never even met the man. Yes, but I... You haven't offloaded Baxter yet, have you? <sighs> Look, there might just be a use for your newfound vendetta. The tap on his partner was successful. She found where Regis is hiding. He's an unfactored element. Now, he needs to be removed from the equation. Don't worry. I'll kill him myself if it comes to it. There's only so much of the city's resources that can be diverted to this. Find him, finish him, then return for offloading. Remember, I'm your controller, not Baxter. Don't be so sure. So I got out. I managed to find somewhere to lie low. But I know what Central's capable of. You can only hide from it for so long. Lau had better find that message before an aerostat comes this way. What the hell? 